Arborea is an action rogue light from the developer Dream Plant is their first and only game that I can see available only on uh, PC Steam specifically. Uh, it is a very action-packed uh, roguelite. Carries on the same uh, uh, features that you'd expect it to have in terms of progression. So you're not necessarily just beating your head against the wall. Your characters are slowly getting more and more powerful by your, the predecessors doing the work for the next. Think like Rogue Legacy. Think like Hades. Think like Dead Cells, etc., etc., etc. There is a lot of action to this. Uh, it does have a very unique symbiont system, which is how the weapons, what the weapons are referred to. And also the way you can fuse different elements of those weapons. You can also fuse elements with each other. Uh, and you can fuse uh, uh, things. To basically, you can fuse all kinds of things into other things. Uh, we're going to explain a lot of this stuff as we get in. But we're actually going to start this uh, this episode in the middle of a run. So let's go and get in to this. Uh, I have a lot of the voices turned down. Uh, the character you see right here on the left. This is, uh, I don't have a mouse here. Uh, this is Rata. Rata is, uh, um, is basically your guide. Uh, she's a fairy guide. This is at the bottom there. Uh, and she will, just a lot of times she'll end up like talking and kind of guiding you through certain things. So I actually have her muted. Uh, so you won't hear too much from her. But all the care, the lot of, there's a lot of voice acting uh, in, in, in the game. There's a lot of cutscenes in the game. Uh, small cutscenes that I feel like they could probably cut out. We'll talk about that. Uh, but first, I've been hitting any key. Um, first, let's get in. <laughs> uh, okay, so just as a note, um, there are uh, probably like three or four different landings you could do. They've done, they've really done a good job of adding a lot of variation. So that way, as you're repeating the same thing over and over again, a la Dead Cells, you're not necessarily getting the exact same experience every time. And you'll see this when we go back to the beginning um, and get uh, kicked back into the uh, into the pit here. So this is actually a, a middle, a, a, a segue into the next level. And in this area is where we're going to go through. And this is a great place to start because we get to learn what all these things do uh, and how they contribute to your character's growth and progression. Let me go over here first and enhance over here. And we'll talk a little about this. So this machine will allow me to do a simple enhancement that will increase stats uh, by by applying one of these mods. Um, let me see. Uh, let's see another hint, please. Reach enemy kills while Drush is active. Its uh, its duration increases by two seconds. Uh, let's see. We can swap to this. Let's see. We can swap this one out actually because I already have a couple. So we swap. Um, uh, let's see. You deal fifty percent stamina damage each time you attack a different enemy than the last one. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Um, let me see. Free mods for Drew. Let's see. Mods from the inventory. Uh, explosive sprinkler. Your totem shoots grenades every five seconds that deal one hundred fifty percent. Oh, you know I haven't messed with grenades yet. Let's go and do that. So we'll put that in there. Uh, that should be a fun one to play with. Um, yeah, keep, no, no, swap. Okay, and escape back. There we go. So now that's in. Uh, I have another one, but I can only apply one at a time. So let's go and apply this one. I haven't played the totems yet, so I want to see what that does. So she's going to apply it to me, and now I am enhanced. Your characters, um, character design varies with each run. Your characters do have, there's a little bit of randomization that happens uh, with each character you get. But for the most part, they kind of still have the same uh, kind of very hyper detailed look with lots and lots of little crevices and cracks and little glowing bits and spikes and all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, they're pretty much the same. Uh, this this very is a um, uh, it is like a material that you can take or something you you would uh, you collect as you go through the dungeon, whether it's from crystals or whether it's from killing enemies. And you take that and you send it back up to the top and they could basically give this to the gods um, and you could use this for upgrades and all that stuff. So you give a little bit to the gods and a little bit for you. Um, so yay, that we sent that up. We're very happy and pleased with that. Uh, and then over here, now these supposed, this is supposed to be the shaft that takes me down to a previously um, uh, visited level. I've not used it yet, so I don't know how that works because every level is randomized and I've feel like I'm farther than I've been, but maybe not. Uh, but this is also a quest item here, so let's go ahead and talk to this. Uh, oh, what's that? Go back, press this tiny thing, and a red light appeared. What does it mean? Oh, go back, don't know. What is this place? Is that was built by the gods? Gods have so much secrets. Why they built all these things? Goback wants to know. Goback has to go deeper and get to the Hager to meet the gods. So, 
you introduce that character through your tutorial and he reappears uh, uh, through these holograms and such so you're led to believe that he is still exploring uh, this uh, uh, this cavernous system so we don't really get too much beyond that now let's go and try this this should take me oh, okay okay yeah I don't have it okay, got it I was gonna say I think I only have one all right so once I get more then I'll be able to teleport down so that's it for the uh, the segue room for the prep room now we're gonna go into the next level here and we should go for our inventory too, real quick. Let's go ahead and get, get in. See a little front flip. There's like a little Iron Man kind of landing. And then of course is the fall on your face. That's a good one. Uh, so teleport right there. We'll hit that, trigger that. It makes it easier to go through the map. The map's not discovered yet. So we'll just go ahead and uh, pick a random direction. Oh, there's actually a little quest thingy over here. We're gonna have an enemy. Here we go. Okay. So combat wise, it is, you gonna come out? You gonna come out so I could demonstrate this? You gonna come out so I could demonstrate this? So you can lock on as I'm doing here. Uh, and locking on will actually give you access to you know, vision uh, of their of their health. Um, this is actually uh, a thing that I, I wish that there was a toggle for. This guy's really gonna stay there, huh? Wow. Okay. It's gonna explode after he dies. Okay, just checking. Sometimes I do. Um, is that when you're in the midst of a lot of enemies, a lot of times I want to like target switch, and you can't really target switch very well because uh, you can't see what the, what the other uh, enemy's uh, health looks like. So it's a lot easier uh, to just pin one and just try to work on it. But at the same time, it'd be nice if I could. Oh god, I'm getting shit on here. Hold on. Hold on. Oh man, I'm getting really dunked on here. <laughs> I came in here just talking, talking like I was gonna breeze through this. Okay, hold on a second. Let me get heal up because these guys are magma. Uh, so I don't have anything special for them. Try to do this damage here. Turn to one of these two. Boop, boop, boop. Get. That was a special ability that I have. Use a little bit of mana. Come on, come on. There it goes. Good. Done. So notice I don't even use a lock on because it's, I mean sometimes with smaller enemies like this I'll use it but when you're in the midst of a whole bunch of dudes it's easier just to basically continue to dodge attack and roll just just until you get everybody cleared off instead of just trying to target each individual one and see what their health is all right so quest complete um to get anything for that hold on is there really nothing in here usually there's like interactable or something it does not look like it oh oh that's the way out of course well I'm a little surprised. Uh, there are things that don't show up on the minimap that you can interact with, so that's why I'm running around. Minimap is pretty good at getting some of the major things out of the way, but then there are things that are typically hidden. Hmm. Okay. Well, we completed a quest. We got some. Uh, we got some gems for it, so we're good. Some Vera. So we'll keep moving. Nope. Oh. So you have the ability to, to dodge, as you've seen a number of times now. Okay. Whoop. With certain weapons, you also have a charge, which is kind of cool. So watch this. One, two. Oops. Okay. <laughs> so watch this. Does nothing. Here, this guy's gonna charge me here. One, two, three. Bam. Gives you a little more damage, but you stand a little bit longer, so this is give and take. Character is notably stronger though than the last run because I'm one-shotting some of these guys. Almost one-shotting these guys. Wow. That's what I like to see. Also, can be my weapon. So let's take a look at the screen real quick. Uh, this is your so this your 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 tune. Uh, that's your character. Uh, here he is, and you can see the weapons and everything that I have. I also have equipment slots that are not quite used yet. This is the perks that I have. I have uh, two perks that I started with because, uh, or two traits that I started with because I gave a whole lot of. Uh, of uh, Vera to the gods. I have 1300 right now. I have sent to like five or 6,000 already. So I'll be able to do that again. And that will give me uh, a higher chance to get uh, this or guaranteed chance if I give them enough um, uh, Vera. So uh, then weapon proficiency, this is basically tells where I'm at leveling up my weapons. And this carries over. Um, no efficiency with anything else here. Curses, no curses. Uh, Rata has, she has her own things. I've not really messed with it. She could carry one battery. Uh, there's scrap. I can't do anything with scrap yet because I don't think I've unlocked that ability. I also have a couple of uh, of characters at the, at the quest hub or at the uh, starting hub that I've not yet unlocked. So I'll have to, um, I'm sure that, that at some point it'll be, I'll be able to, you know, uh, break down some of these items for scrap and then turn them into something else later on. Uh, over here, this is where you can combine things. So I've already combined a couple things, made boom sneakers. Um, each perfect dash causes an explosion that deals damage equal to 250% of armor plus max mana. You know, I, I, I haven't actually used my, um, 
my totem. Uh, let me see. Where is it at on the bar? It's not. Hmm. See, explosive sprinkler. Uh, your totem shoots grenades every five. Oh, maybe I don't have a totem. <laughs> maybe that's it. I don't have a totem, so I can't do anything. Unless, unless he's talking. What are you talking about? The totem. Which totem? Hmm. I wonder if it's a part of the, the character's body that I'm not really recognizing by name. We'll take that. We'll combine it with something later. We'll talk. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, this is new. Hey, dude. Do you know where am I? I was looking for new herbs, but this place does not look like my bog. Could you tell me how to get back to the village? Grom the stone, huh? It is up there. Oh, yeah, right. I remember now. You are a wise troll. Here, <laughs> take some of my stuff. I have plenty of it in my hut. Let it serve you well. All Dikes. right. Thanks. Thanks. It's gonna. I was gonna do this. Is this the stuff over here? Salvage. Oh, maybe it is. Uh, Yotun's corpse. Okay, you found a fall on Yotun every time you die in Dunar. Uh, in Dunar, the unfortunate warrior stays here with all of his equipment. You can reclaim. Oh, I haven't seen one of these yet. Uh, Yotun's corpse. Is, uh, beware, though. Fresh Yotun meets attract uh, meet, attract strong stronger creatures. You can expect that it, it, for every course to be guarded by champions with unique abilities. Oh well. Ah shit! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Boom, 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 boom! Okay, we got it. We got it. Let it go now. Oh man. Unique abilities, huh? This is Gargoyle champion Gusher. Okay, he can throw things. Okay. Damn. Hold on. I wanna make sure I do this right here. Okay, here we go. Let me get another attack in. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, nine health. Let me take one of these real quick. Okay, so powerful shockstone hammer uh, and a launcher. Let's see what does this launcher do for me here. Mmm, Bugs Roll. Oh, okay. Shoots projectiles to do 22 damage. You know, that Bugs Roll is pretty good. You can reduce really absorb damage. Yeah. This pill bug thing is pretty great. I'm not going to get rid of that for sure. Uh, let me see. I don't think this is going to be as good as I currently have. See, I can scrap something if I had the if I had that unlocked. And I do not. Uh, this does more. Oh, this does actually does more damage than uh, what I'm currently using. Increases strength by 5. Increases damage of all alternative attacks by 50%. Uh, let's see. Toughness. Proficiency level is at 1 for 1. And the okay, cane slow. All right, you know, just for the sake of just having something different, let's try it. Let's do it. Is this guy getting... Is that, that his stuff? Is that his stuff? That's somebody else's stuff. That's not his stuff. <laughs> you could take my stuff, man. It's like, well, hold on, that's not even your shit. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so this thing has a separate alternate account. Um, oh, alternate attack, not alternate account. Um, hover grunt, huh? That lets you basically do an interrupt with your right click. Just a minimal damage, that right there, 15 damage. But it will interrupt them. Whoa! Stop them from attacking. Give me another swing. Jeez. Jeez. Right about this point, uh, Rata would be telling me that she doesn't want me to die. And I should probably drink something or something like that. Uh, what do we have in here? We have a couple of enemies. Are these rocks stable? Yes, they are. Okay. There's a lot of destructive elements here. So I also make sure this thing's going to withstand a blow. Okay, there's a wasp. Oh, cool. Wasp. Come to me. Get that out of the way. Lots of damage on this thing. The only thing is it's slow. As you'd expect. Oh, two of them. Oh, whoops. I messed that. Blew that way too early. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You make me waste this thing. Good. Yeah. Ah, hardly enough damage. As long as we stay alive. No. Oh, oh, man. Okay. Well, good news. This is the exit here. But there's still a whole lot. Oh, oh, there's still a whole lot of level left. Let me go ahead and drink this real quick. Ooh. Ideally, I want to be able to escape with as much of this Vera as I can. Suck it up. P.S. Actually, and this is very important. P.S. 
also very important like i said uh when you pick up the um the ver the ver vera the very very uh when you pick up the very um it actually uses up slots in inventory 2000 uh per stack you can unlock more slots as you progress uh and that you'll see once we get back so Sometimes you got to make decisions. Uh, I mean, bless you if you have like six or eight thousand uh, Viri. Because that's a lot. Uh, and you can probably put that to pretty good use once you get back. But um, at the same time, you know, you got to unlock these slots, man. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, we have a teleporter. And we have a couple of baddies with the bugs. Hold this for a second. Let's get, get close. Do some damage. You look closer. Other guy, no? Okay. Woo! That's a good skill. Whoop. Hold on. There we go. Okay. And there's also this. Okay. Finally, you find one that's not cursed. Alright, so. This is going to be a wave-based uh, defense uh, uh, minigame, and I need these uh, because every one that I heal, upper right corner, you see there's a green kind of root. Uh, I get credit for it. I need to have a certain number of those in order to unlock things once I get back to the top. P.S. I'm never going back to the top. This guy's going to die down here, uh, but, you know, eventually um, I'll be able to spend that on something. All right, so these guys are going to come close. Let me get close to this guy. Come on. Yep, you're gonna do the same thing. Come on. Come on, baby. Okay, that's all I got. I guess I ran out. Oh! Oh, even my form? No, no, no. That was a mistake. Oh! Even in my rock form! I'm gonna borrow this, if that's oh! Okay. Damn it. And then she, okay, so then Rata takes her head. And then she takes it over here. And this is where you get to know, like, your stats for that run. She holds it up. Was this one worthy? Basically what she's saying. My cause of death was a wasp. I died a wasp so many times. Uh, dealt over 9,000 damage. Oh, man. That's still a meme. All right. So we're going to go and drop this in here. What? Now, typically, I would skip all these cutscenes. Uh, and... All right. Well... I guess somebody he was worthy but somebody else was not they've uh they've been uh superseded now only the top five of your warriors can be in this display so they can watch you as you uh continue to grow and continue to uh progress in the game uh let me see equipment oh so this is all the different characters that i've already run uh some of them are just really bad that one that that just uh got uh got yeeted probably was uh, a character that i died in the first the first room <laughs> All right, so now we do we take the very and we give it to the gods. We open this up You see come pouring out. He's like, oh snap. There's so much. Oh my god. Look at the gods the, the, the yellow part there Satisfied. Oh, well just satisfied, huh? Let's go ahead. We could donate some more here. Let's do 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 do, do. or we can just hit next threshold. There we go. Gods are happy and I still have a ton You only wanted 181? Dang, but look at the right hand side spawning slot plus one logist uh, statistics plus seven uh, positive trait uh, chance 90% uh, Weapon proficiency level two to four and then power slot chance So watch as I continue to give more that number is gonna go up and actually watch this power slot chance as it just continues to go up Almost exponentially here as we get closer to the top 71 73 75 76 I mean it's like basically one. Okay. Well, it's like one to one. It looks like um there we go. And so now we've topped off. We've topped off our our, um, our offers. The guys are delighted. They're like, hell yeah, two thumbs up, bro. Uh, I see placement graveyard outstanding work plus seventy percent guys reaction. Yeah, and I still have a ton to play with. Uh, but this gives me guaranteed uh, power slot chance and a, a positive trade chance, all that good stuff. So we want that. Except to continue. Here we go. So now we go through this whole thing. All of these are skippable, by the way. You have to hold down F to skip, which I wish there was just a tap. I wish it was, I could just tap F because there's a lot of skippable scenes, small scenes. It'd be nice if we just kind of like skip past them. All right, so this is where you can choose your new Yotun and notice that they all have, okay, well not all of them, but at least one of them has two. Six sense traps activate slower, okay. Uh, rage, every kill enemy increases your symbiont damage by 10%. Symbiont is your main weapon. Uh, effects extra with 10 times, that's pretty cool. Let me see. Uh, Hoarder, collect 10% more vary from crystals and enemies. Also cool. Weapon mass acquisition increases 
by 300% for all symbionts, and he has a level 3 proficiency for the lance. So already, this one's looking pretty good out the door. Um, oh, and, and there's another one here. The, oh, they're here. The uh, damage for axe, 15%, level 3. Okay, so that's, again, that's that's also pretty good. So let's go ahead and take this one. You can change the name if you want. You can't like, actually customize it. It's just basically... Oh! Bitch! Bitch, I didn't know this! When I did it, it just gave me different... Just generated different names. Uh, um, bitch. Please. Cool. Wow, look at that. It was just randomized. It was like Gorgug, Boogug, Dongog. It was like all these, <laughs> all these like troll names. All right, here we go. We got, um, let's see. So, uh, Muldog Mul Mul Destroyed. It's because we got that one. I guess we did get one. Um... We're gonna we're gonna get un unlock this. So let's see. Let's see, Muldog is taking care of mutations. He knows a lot about them because he used to be addicted to them. He quit it, but one of his arms has grown to the ridiculous ridiculous size due to overdose. Okay. It says that he can craft things from scrap, so this might give me the scrap ability here. So this is gonna be the intro for this character. It's a one-time thing, as you get introduced to all the different characters in your um, in your hut. So again, uh, this is a different character. Uh, like I said, they share very similar visual qualities. Uh, so, you know, I still have the, the, the intricate details, the blue glowing and all that stuff. But the character does look slightly different. They don't all look the same. Okay, over here, I just run to this one just simply because I can go here and then... Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to choose an axe. Make sure I have that. Um, let me see. Symbiosis Overlord unlocks charge attacks for all symbionts. That's pretty good. See, unlock second inventory slot. So I have enough to actually max this out right now. So let's go ahead and throw this in here. Just to get to the next level. Let's see what that gives me. Yep. Max. Oh, that is max level for that first one. Okay, cool. Uh, let me see. Scrapping symbionts. Unlock the ability to scrap symbionts. What is it? Uh, okay, cool. That's great. That's huge. Okay, let's see. Creation. Uh, I just don't have any scrap. So good. This wow, So now that I've unlocked the ability to scrap things, um, that's really going to... Um, well, I should go and do this first. That's going to open the door to a whole lot of uh, features, things I can do. Uh, all right, let me see. So we can go and go. We're going to go jump in for one more. We'll do one more run here. Okay, here we go. We are counting on you. Good luck. <laughs> Dirty Sanchez. <laughs> it's right to the back of the head. Oh, here we go. Oh, do the dance. Do the dance. It's a very unceremonious ceremony. You'll see in a moment. Da, 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 da. You hear the song play in my head. Bloop. There it goes. <laughs> and then, oh, this is a new one. I haven't seen this one yet. Nice. Floating down. All right, so here's where we get geared up. Let's go equip all. Good to go. We don't have anything else to choose anyways. You could practice dummy right there if you like to, but nope, we got to get in. So open, hold down F to skip. We have another landing here we're going to do. We could skip that as well if we'd like, but I want to see what kind of landing we get. Ice type enemies. Ice enemy stands out with increased armor and frost shield protects its initial damage. All right. Boom. Look at that. Iron Man. All right. So already to the left, I see I have some. I have two things I can interact with right here. So first is uh, this frost something. Frost essence. So let me get, let me get around so I can combine it here. We're going to combine this with um, a weapon because I have nothing on it. So it's, it'll be better than nothing. I assume we don't want to do a bunch of ice enemies. Uh, bio leather armor. Sweet. Uh, we could compare it. We could replace it. I already know it's going to be better than I currently have. So replace it. You can see it actually go on my character. Look at that. Ooh. Let me see. And that's it for this room. Let's go. All right. So this thing's cursed. Let's run over to it real quick. See if we can get it. What does this say? Uh, no armor, enemy health. Okay. Just take this real quick and not get hit. Okay. Another one. Not get hit. Okay. So now the enemies will be stronger. Uh, probably. I don't even know. Whatever else it said. 50% something. 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 Uh, and that's basically I have to defeat 15 characters before enemies before I can uh, release a curse. This is, this is tough. There's a whole lot of wasps. Let's see if we have any environmentals here we could use to our advantage. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. They could break that though. Mm -hmm. This as well. Okay, there's something in there. Let's, uh, let's draw them out over here. They don't seem to be keeping up. I can't run. Was that one of the things I couldn't do? Part of being cursed? I'll look at my curse in a minute. Walk right up past that. I totally forgot to get my... Very... Okay, hold on a second. Okay, here. I was going to check my... Curses to see what I got, but... 
These guys are very pushy. Let's see what I have here. Curses, curses, curses! Curses, we see no armor. Okay, no armor. Uh, no healing. Oh! What? What? Bish, please. For reals? I just got healed. Must be like a, a healing. Oh no, I did not get healed. Oh snap, okay. Damn, I wish I would have read that before I went over there. We have to kill 14 more enemies like this? Oh, this is gonna be rough. Ah. Oh. There it is. Curse lifted. Oh! Just as I was about to. Ah. Oh. Oh, man. Well. That's the way it works! That's the way it goes! <sighs> Press any key to continue. Sure, no problem. Alright, so again, we get to see what our uh, achievements are. See, clear, clear of any spawns. Could be all chest events. I mean, we got a couple things. Clear, look at that. So, very, we got 384. Total? No. Oh my god. No. Hold on. Hold on, get my, my runs mixed up. Throw it in there. <laughs> I really? Okay, so, okay, that was my first one, actually. Yay, I'm improving. That's all that matters is I'm improving. Is it really just 384? Wow, it really is. Well, wow, that's a laughable amount. Let's see what the gods say. Think about this. Let's go ahead and skip this. There we go. So the gods are pissed. <laughs> gods are neutral. All right, so we'll just give them everything, and then I'm just going to have a shit run next time. Look at the right-hand side. No tr no trait chance, nothing like that. This is where you choose your character, uh, and you can see colorblind. You see no colors when you gain 10 worries. This is all elements. Voices in his head. You hear strange voices. Onion, you're like an onion, not because of layers, you just stink. And yeah, so basically this next run is going to be uh, a little bit with a bit of a handicap. Uh, and then, you know, you could you know, rotate, rotate his head, really? I guess if you really want to see all sides of it. Uh, but his head is like an onion, though. His head is like an onion, so that's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, look at that. The freaking onion. I'll be damned. Uh, oh, and her head is an onion, too. That's adorable. Wait, is it? Wait, is it? <laughs> it kind of looks like it, but I can't tell if it always looks like that or not. <laughs> Stand still, Rata! Stop moving with the camera! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. That's it. I think two runs is good enough to get the point across. This is... Arborea. An action RPG. No, no. Action dungeon crawler rogue lights. Uh, quite fun, like, good amount of depth, too. The symbiont system, the, the fusing of all that stuff, the god system, trying to, like, balance, you know, balance, please, the gods. At the same time, you're also trying to, you know, uh, uh, to progress as a troll or as a, as a Yatun. Um, there's just, there's, there's just a lot of layers here, like an onion. <laughs> My name is Mike the AK Phone, and you can find Arborea on Steam, uh, if you don't already have it. It's been on uh, Early Access since, uh, last May. Um, so yeah, good job they've done with this one thus far. Uh, available now. My name is Mike B.A.K. Phony for breakfast. Thanks for watching. I'll see ya.